All right, God bless you, people. Let me let me do this. This is the servant of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my leader. Bishop ain't my leader. Christ is my leader. And if a bishop following Christ, Christ is bishop leader too. All right. In the 13th chapter of the book of Matthew, Jesus Christ said, When the gospel of the kingdom is preached, the seeds are going to fall on good ground, good, good ground, that means it's going to grow and it's going to produce. Hmm. Praise him. Hallelujah. The scriptures say that the word of God go forth, it shall not return void until it have accomplished <coughs> that which is set out to do. Now mind ye yeah, that dealing with prophecy. If God says something, it's going to happen. Period. End of discussion. It's going to happen. Yeah. Now, when the gospel of the kingdom is preached, it falls on all kind of ground. And the gospel is to save you, give you everlasting life, give you eternal life with Jesus Christ our Lord. So you won't go to the lake of fire and brimstone. After you pass away and this world pass away. And you step up, oh God, it's good. The gospel is to save you from your sin, cleanse you from all your sin. And it's through the gospel. And the gospel is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that his Father sent to cleanse us, to take away all our sin through Jesus Christ, not the law, not the tithe, not the offering, not the priest, not the building, not the tabernacle, not the holy, holy, first veil, second veil, outer cold, inner cold. Mercy seed, cherry bit, Aaron Rod that buddy, the part of man. Look at the ninth chapter of the book of Acts, of uh, the book of Hebrew. Not the first covenant. With those things never did nothing for you, no way. But Jesus Christ. That's, that's the God, but Christ saved you. Nobody else. Christ take away your sin. Nobody else. If you believe, and if you if you want that, if you desire that, obey Christ. Don't obey the law. Live by Christ, not the law. The law couldn't do it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> God said, burn off your sacrifice, I have no place. Yeah. Uh-huh. I know that new to some of y'all. I told him in my church some years ago, y'all need to study the book of Hebrew. Yahweh, none of y'all watching me. I'm not gonna say none of y'all. The majority of y'all watching me. Y'all don't have no Bible study on Hebrew. You do not have Bible study on the book of Hebrews. Go to the 7th chapter. You, you then go down the, 
to 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 break three, I believe, or uh, break five. That for us, you go, you don't, you don't continue to read. Y'all don't study the book of Hebrew. Hallelujah. You don't study the book of Galatians. You don't do it. But Christ takes away your sin. The law couldn't do it. And the law is not required no more. The only thing required is what Christ said. And Christ said, repent. Repent, believe the gospel. Repent, believe him. He is the one to take away your sin. He the one to take away all your sin. He the one to forgive your sin. Until you come to Christ, your sin ain't forgiven. Pray to me. Glory to God. I think I, think, I, God, I, I, I think I'll make that Sunday message. I think I'll make that Sunday message. Pray to me. <clears throat> God with it. Nevertheless, I'm a servant of Jesus Christ. Jesus is alive. God raised him from the dead after people killed him. <clears throat> now he's up in heaven where, where you and me going to be if, if you believe him, if you receive him. That being said, back to the 13th chapter of the book of Matthew. Jesus said, when the gospel of the kingdom is preached, it falls on good ground, stony ground, wayside, among thorns, so the gospel is going to hit everybody. Whether you receive it or not, it's still going to get you. Whether you obey it or not, it's still going to get you. I'm going somewhere with this. Whether you believe it or not, it's going to get you. Whether you teach it or not, it's going to get you. No matter who you, who your pastor, who your bishop, the gospel going to get you. It's going to get you, God knows. That being said, the, when everybody, everybody, the, the Jesus said the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness. That means you won't have an excuse. Caleb, I said, I never heard the gospel. <laughs> yes, you did. When, when, the, when, when the preacher came to you, you said, I don't want to hear that. You just turned away the gospel. Ooh, Lord, how much Jesus. Praise God. Holy Ghost just brought something to my remembrance. But Jesus sent out the disciple, and he said, go and preach the kingdom. Preach saying the kingdom is at hand. Hallelujah. And he said, if they don't receive you, if they don't receive you, shake the dust from your feet as a testimony against that city. It is going to be more tolerable for Sodom in the day of judgment than it is for them. He told them to say something else too. He said, know this, the kingdom was now to you. The kingdom was now you. And you push it away. You don't want to hear it. You push it away. When you push it away, you guilty. Why are you pushing away? I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Bishop said this. You saying something else. I don't want to hear that. Church God Christ said this, but you saying something else. I don't want to hear that. <coughs> Baptist, Methodist, Episcopal, non-nomination, Lutheran, Christian, they said it then, but you come and say something different. I don't want to hear that, but but I'm but I'll tell you what the Bible said. You turn it away from it. The one verse said they'll turn away their ear from the truth. The one verse said they will not endure sound doctrine. And in a nutshell, here's the doctrine that you won't endure. Stop saying it. Repent. 
Turn from your sin. That's what Jesus requires. And Jesus will take away your sin. But my path to take ain't nobody without 10. We all got 10. You turn it away from it. You turn away your ear from it too. But you heard it. And you had a chance to hear it. But you turned it away. You, I don't want to hear it. Say so shake the shake the dust from your feet. A nut said, shake the dust from your clothes. I brought it to you. You can't say you ain't hurt. You ain't hit. You all you heard it. You knew what we were about. You turned it away. You didn't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing about that. We introduced ourselves. We want no strange. We want trying to rob you and hold you up. You say I don't want to hear. Pray God, Hallelujah! People come, people come, meet you on the street, up, knock on the door, pass all track. I, I remember years ago, I was a child. We went out, passing out track. My God, yeah, some of them say, "Go, go on away, my door. Get away, get, get, get away, my, get away, my door." Some, I mean, one time, I fell, took the track and and. and, and Tore, tore it in the piece, and when we drove by, he threw it in our face. The kingdom was not the, you turned it away. You didn't want to hear it. You won't have no excuse. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Ah. My God, when you when, when, when you say when you say wait, but you don't show love, you turn it away. When you say, "Oh, we too arrogant," <clears throat> you turn it away. When you say you too dogmatic, you turn it away. <clears throat> when you say it, it, it ain't about no it, it ain't about no whole lot of rules and legalism, you turn it away. But we give you the commandment of Jesus. We ain't giving no commandment to me. You turn it away. When you, when you say, oh, don't come with a mouth full of scripture and, and, a, and a, boy, boy, a, a evil heart. You, you turn it away. You have no excuse. Oh, you can't preach. You got to live it. You turn it away. You have no excuse. Praise God. Glory to God. <clears throat> now, everybody gonna hear. Everybody gonna hear the gospel. If they don't, it because they turn it away. <clears throat> Praise God. That being said, I have many false prophets that watch me on my friend list and they have subscribed to me on YouTube. I have many false prophets on there. Let, let me get the get the get the which I can't get the exact number because you know you know more than one person. Some she is short somebody else. On On YouTube, I have 396 subscribers. Now, now, you know the number The number is more than that that view me because someone told me that they had put me up on the big screen one time and the whole group was watching me. Some downloaded it. They passed it on. I... I, I how I had people calling me. I, I see you out there. Don't say nothing. Even have people contact me that not on the friend list. So everybody see it. Let me go to Facebook. I won't. I won't. I won't do some figuring. Some figuring here. 
<clears throat> on Facebook, it say I'm followed by 434 people. Uh, now, uh, now, now that, that's the number they give. But more than one person see it. Sometimes they screen, they, they screenshot it. They record over it. I have did. I have recorded over <laughs> over video. <laughs> and they take it and show it to other people. And so the number, the exact number, is not that. Then they say I got 851 friends. Now those the, the, the recorded number that actually would see this. As we said, I have many fall problems on my friend list. Now what I used to do, what I used to do, I have many since I've been on, God know, that have unfriended me and deleted me and blocked me because of the truth. Yeah, the truth go against your pastor and your bishop and church of God and Christ and Baptist and Methodist and everything else. The truth go against all that. I just ain't want nobody to save me no place. But the truth go against all that. And, and see, with some folk, they hold men in high regard. <sighs> Jesus said that that which is high. Let, let me just get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause y'all don't have no Bible study. Let me show you what Jesus said. Y'all don't have no Bible study. Here it is. In Luke chapter 16, ha, 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 ha. begin with verse 14. Look at what Jesus said. See, you esteem me and high. I don't. Now, though that true servant, I esteem y'all high. Highly love for your work's sake. But you ain't, but I don't esteem you how over God went to where you disobey God. I still esteem you. The devil is a lie. In Luke chapter 16, verse 14. And the Pharisee, the Pharisee, also, that, that, that's your pastor, who was covetous, covetous, heard all these things and they derided him. They got upset with Jesus. Did I, you upset with me? And, he, and Jesus said unto them, ye are they which justify yourself before men, but God know your heart. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Your bishop is an abomination, presiding bishop. The jurisdiction bishop, deacon, uh, state mama, supervisor of women, diocese bishop, district elder, abomination in the sight of God. You justify yourself before men. You ain't studied about justifying yourself before God. How about doing that? How about say, I want to be right with God? You are an abomination because you disobeyed God. You're an abomination. But everybody watch me. Many false prophet watch me. And I said, I used to, I used to uh, delete them and block them. But when I, when I, when you block somebody, they can't see what, you know, what you're doing unless they go to another, use a different internet system or a different phone or a different computer. They they can't see what you post. But I used to do it, but I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that. 
because they need to still need to heal the truth. Though they fall prophet, they still need to heal the truth. Also, yeah, they be on my page. I I I saw one the other day telling for what to do, how to multiply their stimulus check. Pay tied to your church. It's so into uh, your leader. Let, let, let me decode that. Give your money to the preacher. That's what that means. All kind of stuff. But if I don't share their posts, like they post, or comment on they post, you don't see it. You don't see where I come in on it. <laughs> so, so I don't delete them. Unless they come on my post talking that stuff and don't straighten it up. Then I delete them. Huh? But I have many fall prophets on my page. But they need to hear the hear the hear the, hear the key. They need to hear the word of God. Fall prophet watching me. You in danger. You hearing the word of God. No, I'm not deleting you. You need to hear. You need to hear. Fall probably watching me. You need to hear the seed falling on your stony heart and by the wayside in a month thorns. Yeah, the seed fall. The gospel dropping like rain. The seed, the, the gospel dropping everywhere. You need to hear it. And you hear it too. One thing about it, I know you see me. <laughs> That's the, I know you see me. Pray God and we give the word of God. That's enough. That's enough of that. All right. Thank you for being